Hi, everybody. This is a wee bit of alchemy. I'm Rick Barrett. Welcome. First question that came up is about reaching. And this is something that's really core to the way that I teach tea, the way I interpret Taiji Chuan. And uh, the idea is that Taiji is always, there's always a quality of reaching, of extending in the, in the movements. And that is that you're opening and you're using your intention to make, have the body go in the direction that you want it to go. So this is a very different quality than say, just allowing the motion to happen. It's, there's a, a direct intention there. Say if I want to, to extend my, my arm in a, with a, like a ward off posture, there is a reaching. I'm not, arm is not just going into, into, into a place and just hanging there. There is an extension. And what happens with the extension is that the mind, the E, extends to the extremities. And when you do that, it, it on, a, on a physical level, it creates tensegrity in the connective tissue system. So there's an a, elongation of your tendons, ligaments, fascia, et cetera, that compose your, your connective tissue system, which allows, it's the support network for the energy flow and the energy, the state of energy, the energetic coherence. So the, on the physical level, you're, you're activating your connective tissue system, which, you know, it's, it's sometimes called the living matrix because it connects every cell in your body. And so there's this instantaneous communication throughout the whole system. There's a very dynamic feedback mechanism where every part is able to coordinate with every other part virtually at the speed of light. It's just, there's, there's this immediate response throughout the whole system. So it's for human, in human terms, it's instantaneous. So whenever you activate that, that tensegrity, click, you have access to a much higher level of energetic fullness and energetic coherence. So that quality of reaching is an idea that you're, you're opening and extending. So there's this quality of extension. But even when you are in a yin posture, let's say a rollback where you're, you're bringing down, there is still a quality of reaching. You're reaching with the elbows, reaching with the wrists, reaching with the fingers, and directing the energy in and down, mm, but there's still a quality of reaching. If you don't, if you try to do that without reaching, you got nothing. There's there's no there's no uh, stuff in that in that rollback. So the best you can do is get out of the way. That's that's the that type of passivity is the only thing you you know. Only positive on that is, oh, I disappear. But if you want a dynamic rollback where you're able to direct energy and, and move it in, a, in a, a direction inward, there is still a quality of reaching there. And so any moment in a Tai Chi form, there is, there is something reaching and if you are not reaching with the crown of your head, you're not opening the jade pillow gate, you're not accessing the spirit of vitality, the jingchen in the, uh, in the system. If you're not reaching with the elbows, the shoulders are going to tend to cramp up. They're gonna to tend to, to bunch up or get tense. So if you're not reaching with the fingers, the energy is not gonna reach you the the, uh, the ends of your, your hands. And so somewhere along the line, there's gonna be a, a break in the energy and any break kinks the hose. So what we're doing with the, each of these reachings is training the mind to 
open to extend because there's a, a natural tendency for any system to kind of collapse in on itself. It's a, you know, the, the quality of entropy enters in. It was just like there's a, if there's not sufficient energy to expand from a state of wholeness, then there is a tendency to contract. So the, um, we, if we take charge of that and say, okay, we are going to continue to access the big chi and allow that to move through and that allow that to animate, then we are continually building new structures. There's, we're opening to new possibilities in terms of our, our, our living, our movement, and our Kung Fu. So that's, uh, that's the, uh, I think the nickel version uh, of reaching. So it's a, a quality, and you'll hear me say it, you know, a thousand times, but it's, you know, reach with this, reach with your wrist, reach with your elbows, reach with your crown, whatever, because you want to, if you don't, there's a tendency to just kind of fall into a collapse. So uh, uh, any questions on that or any thoughts on that? Anybody? Richard. Richard. Yeah. It, uh, it seems as though um, we need to distinguish between reaching and moving. Uh, yeah, because I, I can see as you're talking, it starts to become clear to me that uh, that reaching is not moving, uh, is not necessarily moving, that no matter which direction you move, you need to be reaching. Yeah. Right. Exactly. Now, that, that's a very good point, Richard, because one can think, one can confuse the two. So, you know, we learn to reach by physically extending an arm, extending a hand, you know, whatever we, we learn to do this, we get the concept of, okay, here it is collapsed, here it is extending. So we're reaching where there is a, there is an intent behind it. And, and a quality of reaching and uh, going a little bit deeper into the nuances, you know, it's different than pushing. So in other words, reaching is extending to connect. You want to reach the shore, you want to reach, you know, your, your beloved, whatever you want. There is a, there's a, a quality of desire and attainment there. Uh, there's a quality of love involved with, uh, um, with it. You know, Jonathan loves to, to, to talk about, it's a quality of hugging. There, there's a, the, the idea of extending your, extending out and opening for for, for that hug, you're, you're seeking a, a partner in, in, in that event. And that's very much what reaching is involved. So there's an intent there, which is the insubstantial aspect to the movement. That is you, like right now I can reach with my ears. You know, it just, you know, I'm not moving them, but there is an intent there to like, to you, you feel them extending outward. You can reach with anything you want, and it's a quality of, of placing that intention, and even if you're not activating the motor function that makes the car go, you are still, uh, you still have it all geared up and, and, and ready to go. So, uh, uh, Peter, you had something. You're on mute, Peter. Yeah, Richard asked my question. I was thinking about, you know, when we're doing that standing, uh, that standing um, posture with the um, the jade pillow, the toes, the reaching with the rear, the back of the top of the head. Uh, there seems to be very, very little movement, if any. So that was really my question. If you know, if you need to move to reach. Um, Same question. Yeah. So it, uh, no, you don't. So that it's it's, a, it's it's the underlying intention, which activates the energy. It it's you know the readiness potential that precedes the actual delivery of of motor function. So we and, and that's something that uh, we have there. So we have a, a question from Art: Is that reaching the same as pong? And no, no, reaching pong is a specific 
uh, Jin, which is generally considered to be an up and out kind of energy. It's, it's a, a yang expansion contrasted to Lu, which is an in and down kind of, kind of energy. And that's just a general uh, description because in terms of direction, because it can be in any direction, but the uh, Pong Jin is, is an expansion. It's a yang expansion. And, uh, uh, but it's one of, of, of many Jin's and all of them involve reaching. And uh, so it, to activate your Pong Jin, you do need to reach, but uh, it's, they're not the same. Anybody else? Okay, all good. Uh, Keith, you had something? Dude, neck and back all day long. What's that mean? Uh, extending the stretching of the neck and getting the tension out of the, the neck, shoulders, and back. As much as I, you know, try to maintain my posture and being in a position where it doesn't bind. I mean, Janet tells me all the time, stand up straight, you know, and I find myself just getting bound, you know, and end up needing a massage gun in the middle of the night, you know, so it's you're, just. You're overcoming many years of, of, of habits, Keith, so <laughs> yeah. uh, be patient, keep after it. It's going to take a little while to, uh, to undo uh, 60 years of, <laughs> of being a certain way. So be patient, it's, it, it's coming. You've been, only been at this a few months, so uh, yeah, you're doing great. So keep it going. But there are, there are certain things we, we can do to speed that process along. We'll uh, play with those uh, from time to time. Okay, so moving along. Um, last week introduced the idea of um, the spring tiger and uh, so just to recap, there are, every season has a characteristic element that, 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 is, um, that governs it. So you have your five Chinese elements, which are water, wood, fire, earth, metal. And each one feeds the one that follows. And uh, so, we are now in spring. We are in the, uh, uh, and that is governed by the element of wood, which also is related to the uh, liver and the gallbladder. And it's, it's an energy, it's sort of a, a get moving kind of energy. It's, a, uh, it's traditionally described as anger, but it's it's bigger than that. It doesn't. It's not not the anger of a, a three year old throwing a tantrum. It's a it's a uh, it's that focused intention. It's uh, the fighting spirits that kind of you know I'm going to get this done. So it is characteristic of plants in the in the springtime where you see them. You know I've got daffodils out front. That is you know even when there's snow outside they're they're pushing their way up in February. They, they have an intention to, to, to rise. They're pushing up and they're, going, they're reaching for the sun and they, they have a drive there. Then there are other things in bud that are, they can't wait to get started. So we're moving from the yin of winter, which is governed by water. The water nourishes the wood. So we, you know, in winter time, we want to uh, bring it in, calm it down and get into the stillness, get into the yin. And then in springtime, we start to get moving again. We start to feel that, that spring fever. We start to feel that urge to get, to get uh, make things happen. So that's the quality of, 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 of the energy is going from yin to yang. So it, the, spring, the wood feeds into the fire of summer, which is the ah, full yang, full on yang. So the, uh, so we have this, this, this pattern going here. So in uh, one of the things that is characteristic of the uh, liver chi 
as well as the wood chi is the fingernails. The fingernails are, and toenails are, they feed your wood chi. So the, um, just to recap that, the, if you can feel your fingers, like you have claws on the end of your fingers, and you're, you're pulling like that. Uh, one way of, of getting the feel of that is just put your hand on your head. So it's lying flat on your head. And then just with the tips of your fingers, just like you got, you got claws there, you're massaging your head. You're massaging your scalp with your fingertips. So that gives you an idea. You're not, the whole hand is not tensing up. You're just, just moving from the fingertips. So that quality there, of getting, you can feel immediately, it activates the connective tissue system because that the fingernails um, and the other part of, of the, uh, of the, uh, the wood chi is it, it's connected with the connective tissue system. So it feeds into that system, which I was talking about before, which the tensegrity allows the energy to really cruise through the whole system. So you want to get that, that quality of, of the fingernails. So feeling your fingernails. And some of you will actually start to feel a tingling. I feel an itching kind of in my fingertips whenever I do this. It's like they get, you know, ah, you know, it, uh, I can feel that, that chi, whenever the chi is there, it's like, you know, you know, I have to kind of ground the energy sometimes just by taking the, uh, just, just squeezing my fingertips to, Ah, just to kind of let some of that go because it really builds up very quickly. But we, what we want to do now is not dissipate it. We want to hang on to it and allow that, that wood chi to fill up because it really cranks up the chi in the whole system uh, uh, quite a bit. So um, there's a... Um, uh, a form, uh, a meditation uh, that we're going to do that's a spring tiger meditation. And so here it is, we're going to use the tiger as the, as our animal here. And it's a, like a Qigong activity that we're going to be using to crank up the wood chi to feel that nourishment in the connective tissue system and feel that vitality that comes with that. So uh, we'll start off with uh, the three pillars and then we'll move into, into the, uh, uh, the spring tiger. So why don't you stand up? Step out to this with your left foot. So for those of you who are just getting into this, the three pillars are number one, central equilibrium. And you find your central equilibrium by feeling the balls of your feet on the, on the medial line, on the big toe line of your foot. Just behind the, the big toe, there's, there's that big knobby joint, and that's your, that's the ball. You want to feel that as your orientation point for your feet. The weight will spread throughout the foot, but that's the, that's the bullseye. And when we access that, we activate the yin chi of the earth, allows that, the yin chi of the earth to rise through the bubbling well and fill the body. Knees are unlocked. You're sinking, feeling you're releasing down, feeling sung, which is a, a releasing into the structure, releasing into the supporting structure. Now reach with the crown of your head, not the top of your head, but the crown, right around the hair whorl. 
and tucking your chin. As you do this, you're gonna open up the jade pillow gate at the base of the skull. This is where the, the spine meets the cranium, right there, the atlas. So you're opening up that and allowing for enhanced energy flow. And when you do this, you get what's called Jing Shen, which is the spirit of vitality that fills the whole system, the whole body mind. We're having doing two things at once. We're sinking into the earth and we're reaching with the crown of the head. So their body is being pulled in two different directions. So that creates a tensegrity in the system by sinking into the earth and simultaneously reaching up. We're elongating the spine, opening the jade pillow gate, and you're creating a tensegrity throughout the whole, the whole body. Relax your lower back and allow your coccyx, your tailbone to drop. Again, we're moving in two directions at once. We're reaching with the crown of the head and we're relaxing the lower back and allowing the coccyx to drop. Keeping the weight primarily over the balls of the feet. And by doing, by activate, activating your central equilibrium, you are opening to the big chi. That is the chi of the heavens comes down to the crown. The chi of earth comes up to the balls of your feet, to the crown, or to the bubbling well. And they animate the body. So you're constantly being refreshed. And you're not playing with just your own chi now. You've got, you're plugged into the big chi. Point and reach with your index fingers and just feel into that. You can wiggle them a little bit just to get the feeling of that. And this activates your energetic coherence and your amplifies that tensegrity, creates a state of wholeness or oneness throughout the whole body mind. Reach with your elbows so your arms are slightly rounded. And relax your shoulders, opening the shoulder joint. And feel into your hands and notice that your hands are tingling, pulsing. There's a sense of fullness there as the chi fills up your whole body mind. So this is the energetic coherence part is when you're reaching and feeling into that coherence, that tensegrity, that wholeness. Now we spiral down to the left. You're gonna release your hip joint spiral down to the right. You're just relaxing, kind of settling into your base by relaxing your hips. And just feel into that for the moment. Feel all the activity that's occurring inside. Your body is still, but there is a lot of motion happening. So feeling the motion in stillness. Now feel those fingertips here. Feel that your, your claws, your nails. And notice the, it feels a little different when you do that. It changes the energy. There is an excitement that occurs. 
And with the tensegrity of the, the whole body now, you feel that excitement, it kind of travels throughout the whole system. It activates the chi. It becomes, it, it starts to vibrate. Bow forward and reach with your elbows, reach with your wrists. Arms slowly coming up, feeling the heaviness of the arms, sung. You want to feel that relaxing into the structure, feel the weight of your arms. Open up your, your back between your shoulder blades. Reach out and, and grasp with those claws. Feel that extension that young extension. Reach to the elbows, the wrists, pull your arms in a bit, and then reach out. Feel that, reach again with your elbows, pulling in. Feel that your feel the claws pulling as, as you pull back and reach out. Now your arms go to the left and sink. Feel the ball of your right foot. Set your right knee and turn. and reaching out so that your, your, all the weight is in your right foot and you're feeling that, that connection there. Feel the, the, the fingertips, you're pulling, you're reaching out, opening, but at the same time you're pulling back. So you've got contradictory impulses there, poles in opposition, which is generating chi flow. You're creating energy by holding these poles in opposition. Pull in, reach up with the, the elbow and ah, out again. Mm. Feel that. Reach to the crown of your head. Feel that connection there. Turn to the right reaching out and step out with your left foot, but double hip width and come back in. So now you're in a bow stance. No, not a bow stance, a uh, mabo, a uh, horse stance. You've got wide stance, as wide as you're comfortable with. Don't, you don't have to exaggerate, but you wanna get, want to get that, that sense of, of your, you're into the, you're into your legs and you want to feel those fingers, those claws pulling in and open, reaching out and mm, pulling in again. Reaching out. And this part is abrupt, but if you do it to whatever is your comfortable to this next part, which is to, <clears throat> you pull back with your elbows, boom, like that. So as if you're grabbing something and <clears throat> pulling back. And then Circle and come back to center. Feel, reach with the elbows, reach with the wrists. We're bringing it in a little more. Reach the elbows, 
pull in with the fingertips, the claws, and then mm, settle out there. Yeah, let's come down. Feel the claws. Feel your body reaching even though you're not moving. There is a sense of expanding. You're filling up the room. And relax your hands and go to a neutral posture. Feel into your hands. Part two, bow, feel your elbows, feel your wrists, feel those fingers, the claws. Sit, sit into it. Feel yourself reaching with your elbows as you pull backward with the claws. Not with the shoulders, with the elbows. Elbows up. And reach out with the wrists, the fingertips. Feel the energy localized at your fingertips even though it's connected to the whole system. So we're here, we're interpreting the energy. Even though the whole system is filled up now, we're localizing or condensing it or concentrating at the, at the claws. Pull in. Reach out. Arms go to the right. Mm. On your left leg, 100%. Lightly on the toe of your right foot. You're feeling, feeling your claws. Reaching with the crown. Feeling the whole system expanding. You reach with your elbows and feel the space between your vertebrae, between your um, scapula. Feel them opening up. Elbows up, reach in, reach out, extend, open, claws. Reach. And you're spiraling down to the left. Step out with the right foot and you you're a big cat. Relax as much as you can while still expanding. So here we're getting contradictory information. We're telling the body to relax, but we're also telling it to get very, very active. And this is very tiger-like. Reach and pull in. And 
reach. And we're going to do that thing with the elbows again. We're going to do a little explosion here. <clears throat> Back. Arms go to the right, step in. Feel you know, the heat being generated throughout your whole body. Reach and pull in, very soft, very quiet. Eyes come down. Feel the claws. Everything else gets very quiet. And relax the hands. Now bring all that movement, all that energy inside and allow that to be simultaneously without moving. So you're feeling into the potentiality of all those movements, all that energy, you're bringing it inside. And this is the, this is the path of the internal arts. You start big and you keep making it smaller, smaller, smaller. So you're bringing it more and more inside. You're learning to contain huge energies within your body mind. To be clear about that, you're what you're you're not containing the energies. You're containing the potentiality by familiarizing yourself with the with what those feel like, you have the ability to recreate that potentiality. To the ball of your right foot, set your right knee, spiral down to the left and step in with the left foot. Take a deep breath, bring your arms up overhead. As you exhale, press down and disappear the chi as if you're pushing down on a big plunger. You're squeezing it out, emptying out of all that energy that you so diligently created and allowing for the nature chi to fill that up. You're priming the pump. And allow yourself to Move into the stillness, the emptiness, the gap between thoughts. Okay, thank you. Please have a seat. Thank you, Ricky Dog. That was sweet. <laughs> Thank you, Keith. <laughs> hmm. Rick. I just thought I'd share this because for a long time, I was always kind of disappointed when I came to the end of one of the sessions, not this, but just stuff I do every day. And since with your education now, at the end when I'm emptying, disappearing, sharing and spreading the chi, at the very end, 
it flows through my body. I hear, I have a song, a mental song, which is let the Shen shine in. <laughs> and as soon as I think that- it's I see like, what you did there. <laughs> well, I see what you did there. And I just- You know, <laughs> if, you, if you parse it out, Rick, there's a compliment in there somewhere. <laughs> Uh, no, you uh, don't even have to parse it out. It's that, 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 it's, it's, it's it's not not very well hidden, Keith. No. <laughs> uh, how'd it go, people? Good. Sharon, you're you're on mute. Yeah. There you go. Um, I was surprised that there was no sound when I was bringing my hands down. <laughs> yeah. and, and uh well at towards the end when we were bringing everything inside i had a sensation i've never had before i had a momentary feel like there was a whirlpool deep in my center mm. it was very brief but it was mm. Mm. It was the, it was there. Yeah. Was some, you know. I agree. That yeah. was way total high energy electric session. <laughs> Thank you. And Nick. <laughs> so so Sharon, the whirlpool thing, for me, I get that a lot in my Don Tian, especially focusing on the descending heaven chi and the rising earth chi and letting them meet there. And it creates this vortex thing that happens. It's really cool. I'm, you know, I, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> Valerie. Yes, that uh, poles in opposition. Um, big fan, big fan. The reaching up with the, the crown and down with the feet and down with the tailbone that creates that whirlpool, which is a very good word. I, I had a, this kind of thing, never put a name on it. So I'm gonna use whirlpool from now on. Thank you, Sharon, very much. Uh, yeah, it's very, very cool. Wonderful. Stan. Yes. Uh, let's see, am I on? You are. Oh, okay. Uh, the, I, I have only something a little more mundane. I get I have color to my fingers, as opposed to what normally is the case. I you normally have don't. Fingers? I'm sorry. I know my fingers are normally on the pale side. Now oh. I get color. Color yeah. fingers. Okay. Very nice. Yes. Very nice. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Peter. Oh yeah. Well, a lot to like. This was inspiring. I think my favorite thing was your explanation of the way in internal martial arts, uh, you learn to contain the potentiality of the energies in the body and mind. That's really great. I mean, that's it. That's it. <laughs> I really like that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Scott. Well, at the end, uh, you had told us to, you know, um, you know, as you always tell us to empty out and feel the nature too. And I've never had it fill me up like, you know, like no time in between. And then, <laughs> you us, and then you're telling us to feel, feel the stillness. And I'm like, what fucking stillness? Everything's <laughs> moving. <laughs> but it was, that was really, wow. That was really cool. Cool. Great. Beautiful. Okay. Jonathan. You're on mute. You're on mute. Still on mute. There you go. There you go. Feeling, feeling nails is, is it's not like for me, like feeling any other part of the body. It's almost like you wear your nails. So it almost seems like it, when you become integrated with your nails, it's almost like an intermediary between you becoming integrated with a piece of wood or a partner doing push hands. There's something mm. in between about nails. I don't mm -hmm. know if you feel that. Yeah, yeah. And nails too are extending. They're constantly 
mm. growing. Mm. They, keep they are the wood up. energy, aren't they? So, so right there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's great. Yeah, that's of course. Right. Ah, they, they're they're reaching out there, whether whether we're right. on board or not. They're they're doing it. <laughs> they're doing it slowly, but they're doing uh, it. Yeah. Nails and hair. They're they're they're, they, uh, they're, right. they're both they're both aspects of that. So it. Yes, uh, yes. They're, they're constantly reaching. <laughs> maybe, maybe we'll grow our nails like our hair, right? Like, right. <laughs> Please don't. Yes. <laughs> Can't play tennis with Wait, nails. you guys can still grow hair? <laughs> Buddy, have you, been, have you been paying attention here? Okay, anybody else? We're good, 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 good. Uh, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, I, I don't. I don't feel like starting anything new at at, at this point. It's like uh, we got just a few minutes left. So um, if everybody is, uh, I, uh, my cup is quite full. Thank you. So uh, <laughs> let's uh, let's uh, call it a day. Uh, love you all. Thank you, Maria. Well, <laughs> thank you, Maria.